Divine Masculines, how are you doing? Rose Warrior here. Going to be reading some tarot for you today, my Divine Masculines. I really wanted to let this energy marinate. Uh, yesterday I was getting a bunch of downloads that the Divine Masculine is awakening within themselves, figuring out the tools and the spiritual gifts they really obtained, they really were gifted with here. You, Divine Masculine, are really coming into something beautiful. You are realizing how you can aid in the evolution of humanity, but also in the evolution of light here. You are a light warrior. I'm speaking to a divine masculine who is a light warrior here. Somebody who doesn't take no bullshit here. Doesn't, you know, let the world and society and the, those I'm getting society norms here fool them. You're a divine masculine that listens to your own heart here. You listen to spirit. I'm picking up on Capricorn energy here with the devil card. So I'm picking up on divine masculine energy that is breaking past bondages here. You're breaking past addictions. You're breaking past generational curses that have held your family here. The men or the masculine people in your family. I'm getting this energy where something has held them bondage and has shackled them towards addiction for a very long time here. And I'm, I'm making this gesture because I'm feeling the energy of something pushing this person down here. So divine masculine, you could be a Capricorn sun, Capricorn moon, Capricorn rising. But overall, this is the energy of Capricorn season. So we got Capricorn season coming up here. If you're new to tarot, you're new to my page, welcome. My name is Rose Warrior. I'll be taking care of you today. If you are returning to my page, thank you so much for your beautiful subscriptions. And I'm going to pray for us before we begin this reading completely. Spirit, ancestors of the highest white light, I ask that you safely guide and guard us here on the energetic read for divine masculine. Help and guide me here. Uh, take me on this journey through these stories, through this uh, timelines here, through the pathways to find the answers and the necessary down loads for our ascension and the process moving forward. Amen. Ashe. By the snap of these three fingers, the energy will be clear and we'll begin. Alrighty, Divine Masculine. So we got Seven of Cups here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Knight of Pentacles, more Capricorn energy, but we got Taurus and Virgo here with the Earth suit. And we also have the Eight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So we have water here earth here and air so all of these elements are within us all but these are the elements present so i'm picking up on these types of personalities i'm picking up on i'm picking up on a capricorn as well but i'm picking up on a story here where during capricorn season you are learning that there are a lot of different incoming invitations here to growth and also some of these are illusions here towards uh uh, I'm getting a turnaround and relooping the life you literally just wanted to grow from here. So some of you are coming to crossroads where you are stepping through doorways and stepping through, you know, quant you're quantum leaping here. You're leaping through time and space in a way through your healing, through your breaking of generational curses where you're being met with all of these amazing different opportunities. Some of them are elusive and confusing and meant to distract you, but that is because the challenge is to know what is truly for you by following your intuition. Keywords, by following your intuition here, Divine Masculine. So I'm seeing a Divine Masculine here, a little puzzled on what is the next move to make stepping forward. Spirit says to make and to choose the cups that reciprocate the love you give here. If you're a divine masculine who has been working on how you love, how you communicate love, and how you take in emotional statements from others and vice versa, Spirit is saying then, if you are really on this journey, it shouldn't be hard to know which doors and which cups are reciprocating the love because the cups will vibrate, the water will overflow it will spill here just to make it into your soul to pour in. With this Knight of Pentacles, Divine Masculine, you have waited a very long time for this arrival of new energy, this arrival of good energy to set in the body here. So this is the physical energy I'm picking up on with this Knight of Pentacles. You have waited a long time, Divine Masculine, in a form of lack here. You could have lost a job. 
you could have lost a really big position or something that you obtained for quite a few years or for some of you even decades and you could have lost a position here i'm also picking that up because the capricorn energy deals with industry drama and it also deals with authority figures here and being over controlling it's the number 15 so the number 66 or 666 could be popping up to show you that there's an alignment needed here this is just also intuition here we read with tarot and intuition because intuition is truly pulling from the higher realms and the realms within above all else the highest realms exist within you is what I just heard. Spirit wants you to know that divine masculine. So I'm seeing this shining here over the head here as it glistens in the camera. And that's definitely giving me some significant energy here. I'm getting a message coming through that your crown chakra is unlocking and there is a specific creative idea or a creative endeavor you're about to partake in here. This has been a long time coming is what I just heard. With this Knight of Pentacles, there is definitely going to be some form of a release when it comes to lack of money here. And for some of you, like I said, who have lost positions or you've lost out in your career, your life here, Divine Masculine, you're going to be finding reconciliation, solutions, creative loops and ways around what you thought was one path. Spirit will help you create seven more ways to reach this destination you want to reach but you're realizing it's not just this destination that exists it keeps going there are levels to this shit here i posted that for pisces so if you're pisces definitely watch those last readings here we've got eight of swords you divine masculine are bringing yourself out of stuck situations and self-sabotage you could be feeling like you are not living up to the standard you once held yourself highly to or towards and you could be feeling like there is a lot of restrictions here you could feel like there are yep look with when i split the deck here we have seven of wands here you could feel like there are energies coming against your mission here your goal your plan you could feel like every time you take 10 steps forward, nine steps have to be falling back here. Or you fall back nine. But you get up every time here. I'm picking up on somebody who no matter what illusions they were ever facing or whatever trials or tribulations they were ever put up against here. You always chose yourself with this Knight of Pentacles. Tell me more, Spirit. Clarify the Seven of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords in order, Spirit. Wow. Wow. One more card, Spirit. One more card, Spirit. One more card, Spirit. Ooh, we got two, and I always love to take them when extra comes out. We have six of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, so I could be speaking to a water sign, but overall, the energy speaks of reviewing the past and reviewing how it's affected you in the way that you have come to be. What do I mean by that? Elaborate, Rose. Different things happen in our lives that transpire and transmute itself right into different energies so you go through something traumatic and that memory although you think you move on it's energy that gets implemented into your system into the cells and it stays there and it stores not only in the heart and the mind but in deeply with deeply rooted within the cell that's what i'm picking up on here so you are realizing here that the things that you have been through they're they're surfacing here they're resurfacing the subconscious mind is bringing up here the past and also moments recently part of the past as well that deal with your evolution spiritually and that deal with your evolution emotionally. You are emotionally maturing here. Right underneath the six of cups here on the bottom of the deck, we do have cancer energy. We have cancer energy here with the moon so there's some sort of significant download coming through here what do you have to tell me spirit 
you're going to be receiving a download here during one of our next full moons or new moons divine masculine you're going to be receiving a download and it's going to be allowing you to heal you're going to realize how to view something you've been viewing something in the past a very specific way and it has dictated the way you treat yourself for a very long time this is rising up at this time and it may be uncomfortable for a lot of you divine masculines but guess what that's a part of growth we're supposed to be in uncomfortable positions sometimes so we can rub ourselves to the top and when, what do i mean by rub ourselves that means wiggle yourself through the through the tight tunnel that you think there is no space to move through here you have to wiggle your way out you have to is what's what i'm picking up on here could be speaking to a leo sagittarius or aries this is going to be the energy that governs the reading we've got the king of wands here King of fire, king of passion, king of creativity, king of status and reputation, someone very handsome, someone very beautiful, someone very sexy, someone who has some sort of essence about them. This can be physically, it could be sexy, you could be whatever that means to you. Physically, sexy can be anything, but you definitely rock it is what I'm hearing. You rock it. Whatever shape, form you are, you rock it. I rock my form, and apparently you rock yours. We all have to rock our form. This is our body here. Spirit says, love your body. King of Wands knows that. You know that. You know that there's a specific confidence that you have to emanate in order to truly call in the type of royal life you know that is meant for you. Divine Masculine. I'm picking up on definitely Divine Masculine energy. This is a King of Wands here. Someone who puts their staff down. <laughs> and I'm gonna let that go. I'm gonna say something, but let that go. So someone who puts their staff down and really knows how to handle the situations that become chaotic in life here. The King of Wands knows how to handle fire. The King of Wands is not new to fire, to chaos here. The King of Wands thrives in these types of environments of high pressure. The King of Wands knows how to turn fire into beautiful fireworks here into what others could could view or validate as a weapon you know how to turn into a show you know how to make any weapon formed against you your show you know how to make it a show here is what i just heard mm, you know how to give a show you know how to put on a poker face here hmm that's what I'm picking up on. You know how to put on a poker face. I could be speaking to somebody who gambles. Spirit wants you to know, Divine Masculine, if you gamble, even if it's on sports, be careful because that is energy that is can easily turn a fun game and a fun night into something very negative because with gambling, I'm picking up on that energy for some reason. Even though you have good luck, Divine Masculine, it doesn't mean money is the way to exercise it is what spirit is saying that's for a few of you out there that short message was for a few of you but i'm picking up on a king of wands who will be coming into their reputation as being this divine leader here and this person who knows how to not only put on a show in a good way but authentically show who they are put on a show of the authentic self here is what you need to know and understand and this lizard is definitely very significant here so Rejuvenation and regeneration are very big themes in this year for you of 2023, Divine Masculine. You are going to be rejuvenating. We have the Seven of Pentacles clarifying underneath the Seven of Cups. You have the number 77 popping up in your reading. For those that have been watching a few of my recent readings, 77 and 777 are big numbers right now. 88 and 888 are big numbers right now. There is cycles closing, cycles beginning, things happening abruptly, things happening quickly for all of the hard work you've placed in the past, Divine Masculine. The Seven of Pentacles is the Earth suit here. Like I said, you could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or this could be just significant energy here. But the Seven of Pentacles speaks of waiting, being patient, and watching the fruits of your labor grow, 
watching them materialize, watching your ideas actually come into fruition here into this realm. Divine Masculine, you've waited a very long time here. And you stepped through a lot of tunnels, you stepped through a lot of doorways, and you've been through a lot of decisions, making processes and decisions in general here is what I just heard. What's interesting is that when I when I was channeling right now and thought of decisions, I pictured someone being pushed with a bunch of energy to where they couldn't come back up from. So Divine Masculine, I could be tapping into your energy. You could have been pushed to the edge work-wise, your workload for the past few months to the past few years. I'm, speak I'm picking up on someone who's been overworking themselves for two to three years. You've been going hard at this here and haven't seen much change other than just a consistent flow of the same shit is what I just heard. I heard you thinking to yourself, it's just the same shit over and over. It doesn't get worse or better, it just stays. And this is no longer no more. Nothing's going to feel stagnant. You're going to watch the fruits of your labor finally come forth here. 77 equals the number 14 and that's temperance here. So through the integration of all the lessons and learnings here and teachings of what life has been giving you, you now know had a better balance energies emotionally and physically here because there's that constant ebb and flow of dabbing into the spiritual realm and then learning in the physical realm and then fusing both because they all exist at the same time spirit has a very specific download for you divine masculine so who i'm picking up on here knight of pentacles who waited a very long time for things to change here definitely picking up on stagnant energy here that is starting to move forward this could have taken a long time for energy to finally feel it reached you in a place where you understand it in a place where it's actually reaching the soul the heart here divine masculine you're finally receiving your healing nine of pentacles and seven of pentacles is definitely big energy of waiting a very long time for something until it moves Ten of Swords here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. The Ten of Swords, clarifying the Knight of Pentacles, tells me that you've been through a lot of losing. Divine Masculine, you've lost a lot here. Speaking to someone who is extremely strong, because I'm, I'm picking up on people and situations you've been through where they didn't stab you in the back, they did it in front of you. And the respect doesn't change because these people, some of these people waited till the very last second to hurt you and they didn't need to, is what I just picked up on. I'm picking up on a divine masculine who could still be very hurt and who is still very much so healing from a lot of these wounds here. You could very much so still be healing I'm picking up on a divine masculine who still is very anxious and has, you know, negative dreams sometimes because of these situations. Spirit says that you are healing through these dreams. You are healing through the hurt. You are healing through the pain. The tears are valid. Your feelings matter. Your emotions matter. Divine masculine, you are healing and you are truly understanding what it means to choose yourself and love yourself. And that energy alone is removing blockages from you financially, spiritually, emotionally. So with the Eight of Swords here, these blockages, right? These are mental blockages. If I didn't elaborate on that earlier, this is the air sign element energy. So this is mental blockages. You see how the swords really aren't blocking her here, but she believes they are. She has her hands tied behind her back and she is unable to move here so you've been feeling very much so in the same place and on a loop for way too long but you feel the wheels turning you feel the energy moving and you feel the blockages uncovering i just heard spirit is burning it off the side of you here fire is burning anything negative off your aura out of your reality we have more pentacle energy here. Definitely coming up financially. Slowly but surely is what I just heard. Divine Maskins, the page of pentacles. 
Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy here. We have three Earth suits here. Two water suits and two air suits. So there's definitely big water, earth, and air energy here. The Page of Pentacles speaks of a brand new beginning. Something coming in financially that is going to feel like you don't see too much results or financial profit from it right away. But something's going to come in slowly but surely. You're going to start receiving small incremental I, I just heard small incremental opportunities here. Opportunities that in increments, they'll, they're going to come little by little. One week, you'll receive an opportunity. I just picked up on someone, Divine Masculine, you're going to receive a call. And the call is going to give you an opportunity to make more money. But the job might be further. You might have to wake up earlier. You might have to get ready earlier. You might have to sleep a day the day before you might have to come home sooner and sleep earlier this season will teach you that you can have what you want but it's still not going to come without you setting the proper routines for your everyday mind body and spirit to keep its flow the routine it, it's not as much about the routine as much as it is about the routine teaching you because what you're seeking is discipline what the routine is seeking is someone to teach discipline to so remember this, this is very important for someone who's a divine masculine heavily out there. You are very stuck on routines here is what I see and you're learning that your routine has to change. That's what I'm picking up on. This stagnant energy is because certain things in the life need to change. There needs to be a specific flow that occurs now that you are in your next chapter as it's still unfolding. You don't have to rush and abruptly do all these changes and perform them now. But they do need to be a part of the energy you're working towards every day. I'm gonna leave this spread open and let's pull a few more cards to clarify. Spirit is also telling me to pull for love, for Divine Masculine. So let's see what spirit has for you. Sorry, I'm shuffling really ugly because I have a really tiny desk I'm using today. So I just want to make sure the cards don't fall on the floor. Wow, that really wanted to come out. Thank you, spirit. One more. One more, spirit. Hmm, interesting. We had the three of pentacles. Divine Masculine, this is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy coming out again. So major Earth sign energy coming through, but Earth sign energy is present in this season so far. So Capricorn energy is the oldest of the Earth signs here, and it teaches how to use responsibility, how to utilize the resources around you, how to dive into the spirit within, how to use spiritual practices and routines and the learnings of how systems work in order to build together, in order to work with others, in order to build humanity up here. This is what I'm seeing, Divine Masculine. You've been working towards something for a very long time with this Three of Pentacles. You came into this realm with a contract. You and your ancestors know this contract deals with building up solid foundations that are gonna last in eternity here. Or if not eternity, you better think close. You'd better think close, is what I just heard. I'm also hearing, Divine Masculine, that there's a Divine Feminine, very beautiful, sexy, luscious, beautiful Divine Feminine here, the energy. We're speaking energy here, come on now. Jump out the avatar for a second and realize we're spirit first. We are bodies of light. And this beautiful body of light here is watching you build, is supporting you, is in agreement with you is willing to actually she is nail putting a nail on top so there is still some help here <laughs> as you are being supported you are also being physically helped you're going to have physical tangible help here people really moving energy around you because they see divine masculine the type of work ethic you have why not pour into somebody who will build an empire anyway? Why not join them in their forces of good and love here? We have the King of Wands coming out again. 
twice in two different decks. Whoever I'm picking up on, you could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, but I just picked up that you could have fire signs in your Saturn or your Mercury here. As well, you could have an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Saturn, or Mercury as well, which deals with discipline, control, authority figures, workplaces here. The voice, the throat chakra, how you communicate, your, inter, your interpersonal communications here. Ooh, something just came up here, so I'm picking up on things coming up and you're able to push them out and you're able to move forward and you're able to expand. With the King of Wands coming up twice, this is double the trouble, double the energy. In the best way possible, I say this. You are not one to be fucked with. You are amazing in multiple ways. You may not see yourself as this king, divine masculine, or this king of wands here. But a lot of people see you this way. Spirit says to stay with this channeling. So we're going to end your reading here, divine masculine. Mm, bottom of the deck, queen of pentacles. Ironically enough, you have a queen of pentacles around the corner. Someone very grounded, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy at the bottom of the deck here. Definitely a queen setting out to come into alignment with you this year. This is the year of alignment when everyone you meet from friendships to co-workers to even an enemy, quote unquote. You're meant to meet them because you're going to know the lesson right away and you're going to be able to move on right away. It's pretty much how that can go here for who I'm speaking to because you have this power, tenacity, and comfortability with yourself. This is the King of Wands energy here. I'm speaking to someone who is poised, divine masculine. You have nice sensibility of dressing. You have a nice sensibility of style here. You could like the finer things in life. You could like quality music, quality cars, quality clothes, quality food. I just heard a nice date night with some wine. Divine Masculine, you're coming across here. Very handsome, very beautiful, very much so well taken care of here. You are standing your ground. I'm also picking up on two Divine Masculines who could be dating here. Two masculines here as well, same sex or same energies. Could be two women as well with two divine masculine energies. See how the gender doesn't really, you never can really pinpoint it with, with people because energy matters here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just heard you can pinpoint it when you respect yourself enough to ask when you respect yourself enough to research you can pinpoint who people are by their energy when you ask them hi what is your name hi who are you i am welcome so i'm picking up on somebody who is coming from being a judgmental energy someone who Maybe just you were more so in a state of being naive and you just didn't know what you didn't know, but you know now. With this King of Wands energy, you know now. You know how to approach people. You know how to view the world around you in a less judgmental aspect. You know how to lead. You know how to draw in magnetically the light and the rays of abundance and positivity towards you, Divine Masculine, and you're being asked to trust your intuition, you're being asked to trust your inner strength, and you're being asked to stand your ground with who you say you are, but you're also being asked to get rid of illusions, self-sabotage, addictions. I'm picking up on addictions that can deal with, wow, this might be deep, and a trigger warning for those out there who may have any type of hardship with this, but you may, you may really struggle with pornography. You may really struggle with not eating habits, but just eating the wrong things for you in a way where it drains you, in a way where you are having your energy levels feeling discombobulated and shit like you are i'm picking up on someone who doesn't feel always like themselves and you're learning how to pick yourself up 
Spirit says to work on yourself and to focus on yourself, Divine Masculine here. Polish yourself because it's been a long time coming. You've waited a long time to become this King of Wands here. You're coming from a Knight of Pentacles. Someone who's lower in ranking here too. A King of Wands here. You're on fire. You're truly growing and you're truly realizing this is the next step towards the championship. And you've made it. I'm proud of you. This is your confirmation. And the information here is for you to take. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, Divine Masculine. I do not know who I tapped into, but it's all brand new energy. I can tell you damn sure it is all brand new. My name is Rose Warrior. I love you. If this reading resonates, I do personal one-on-ones. Before my birthday next week, I only have tomorrow and the next day. So that's two more days for personal readings before I pause for a while until my birthday season is over with. So please book me now while I have the time dedicated to you. Much love, Divine Masculine. I'm with you. We're all in this together. We're all rising and ascending. Keep praying. Peace.